This is a Sports Catastrophe Special Presentation! Hey there, hello there, hello there, Jeff Cutter Donovan welcoming you to another Sports Catastrophe on this day. And on this day, February the 24th, in the year 2013, almost a decade ago, the Daytona 500 happened. Yes, I know that Jimmy Johnson won the race. His second Daytona 500 win. Dale Earnhardt took second, Mark Martin, Brad Koslowski, Ryan Newman ran out of the top five. But, he was famous for one thing and one thing only. Danica Patrick winning the pole for the race. It was amazing. Danica Patrick was this IndyCar legend who was decent. And then all of a sudden, she pulled off a stunning move to NASCAR. So there's qualifying and all of that. Danica won with her fastest lap of 45.81 seconds, just ahead of Jeff Gordon. So Danica Patrick, this IndyCar legend, went to NASCAR, and now she's gotten the pole at one of the greatest NASCAR races of all time, the Indy, the Daytona 500. It was amazing all of that. Ryan Kozlowski and Mike Bliss were the only drivers who failed to compete at the Daytona 500. So there was 43 drivers. But there was a lot of problems at the uh, NASCAR minor, uh, minor league race at the 300. 33 spectators were injured. So the nationwide series happened. Frank and Smith got turned into the wall. Caused a chain reaction, which Kyle Larson's car flew into the catch flat chain. And the impact ripped up its engine on the pathway in between the fence and the first row of the grandstands. Debris flew over the fence and landed halfway up the stands. It was very scary and all that. The catch fetching was repaired. They turned over to 500 went on a schedule. No one died, thank goodness. So 14 drivers had the lead at one point. Danica Patrick was in the top 10 all afternoon. She actually led the day to 500 on lap 90. And there were a couple of massive wrecks and all of that. However, Jimmy Johnson was back of the pack. He emerged with 16 left to go and seized control with 10 to go. He raced past Brad Kozlowski. And even though there was a caution with 6 laps left, Jimmy Johnson had to hold off and Jimmy Johnson had to hold off Dale Earnhardt Jr. and Mark Martin. He made it. He got it. Danica Patrick fell into 8th place. She was actually 3rd in the final lap, but she fell. She said it was her experience for the late fall. However, Jimmy Johnson, who won the race, said that Patrick looked comfortable all race. She held a great reel, was moved, took advantage of runs when she had them. And Johnson became the sixth driver to win a race in his 400th race between the Petties, Lee and Richard, David Pearson, Dave Marsis, and Dale Earnhardt Sr. So Jamie McMurray. No, sorry, that's the start list. Qualifying Danica Patrick beat Jeff Gordon for it. The starting grid was that Danica Patrick was first, then Jeff Gordon, then my man Kevin Harvick and Kyle Busch. Starting grid, all that. My man Harvick had a terrible race. He, he had contact with Josh Wise and David Gilliard. No, sorry. How many? No, sorry. I'm reading your last slide. Sorry, I'm reading the wrong thing. But Harvick had 47 laps. He was second last. Only Joan Dimachek did worse than him. He went out after 42 laps. So, anyway. Who's that good? After the race, Jimmy Johnson was number one. Dale Hearn 
her and my client. So this was just only one race. So good job for them. But yeah, it was amazing to see Danica Patrick, who led the Indy 500 at one point in her career, actually win the Daytona from a 500 pole position. But unfortunately, she couldn't hold on to it. She did take eight. So top 10 is not bad. But it could have been better if she had won. Just saying. Anyway, I'm Jeff Diamond. I do.